Ladies and gentlemen, it is the franchise, aka one half of the GOW, and today is WWE 2K Day. 2K officially dropped the trailer for WWE 2K24. We also have the cover stars, the main cover star being, of course, the American Nightmare himself, Cody Rose. The deluxe edition cover stars are both Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley, marking the first time ever that two women have graced the cover of a game. Also, the first time that an African American woman has been on any cover of a video game. And and then of course excuse me a wrestling video game and then of course man we got the legends edition with various legends over the 40 years of wrestlemania which is actually going to be the showcase mode feature as we're going to go over four decades of wrestlemania matches i believe there's only 21 matches that have actually been chosen for the mode i know a lot of people were upset about that but from what i've seen in the patch notes from the from the game notes from what i've seen uh during the trailer i'm excited I'm excited. Uh, 2K has given us a lot, a lot of information, a lot of news. We got new match types confirmed, one being an ambulance match, another one being a gauntlet match, a uh, special guest referee as well. Also, you can do multi-man matches in the backstage area. So I thought that was cool. But let's dive right into it. So the release date is going to be March 8th, I believe March 5th. For those who got the early pre-order, uh, some new additions, man. We got seven real refs. We don't have no more generic refs. We got real referees. We got super finishers, which I think is going to be really cool. I believe they increased the, uh, the finisher from three to five. And in order to have a super finisher, you got to have at least three finishers stored. And the cool thing is with the super finisher is no matter what your opponent's damage is on, it's going to be pretty much you know unbeatable like if you get hit with a super finisher nine times out of ten man you're done it's over with so i thought that was cool as far as the pre-order man we get the nightmare family pack we get undashing cody rose we get the bruise mattel version of cody rose we got the infamous stardust we got dusty rose and of course superstar billy graham in the 40 years of mania pack we got the macho king randy savage wrestlemania 6 version we get Rey mysterio from wrestlemania 22 we get the game triple h wrestlemania 30 version we get woo we get charlotte flair wrestlemania 33 and we get rhea ripley the wrestlemania 36 version the roster is going to bow over 200 superstars and some of the game editions like i said earlier we got the standard we got the deluxe we got the 40 years of mania we also got an upstage uh updated backstage area with an interactive elevator and vending machines and much much more apparently you get to throw stuff so I guess uh, WWE 2K, they've taken a page out of the AEW Fight Forever playbook. Uh, as it seems like things are going to be a lot more interactive. We got an updated uh, universe mode and, and things of that nature. We got an updated My Rise. We got an updated My Faction. I'm not a big fan of My Faction, but it is what it is. Apparently, 2K is making money off of it because yet here we are again. They're going to put it in the show, uh, put it in the mode. So it goes to show that My Faction is clearly... Uh, a huge pushing point uh, for 2K. But look, this year, March 8th, I don't know about previous years, but I think this may be the earliest we've gotten a 2K game, a wrestling game at that, uh, this early. Uh, I, I could have swore last year it was closer to WrestleMania or maybe after WrestleMania when we got it, but I, I don't remember exactly what the date is. I'm pretty sure I could just go back and Google it, but I'm not about to do that right now. But March 8th, so we're a little bit over a month away. I'm very excited. To me, these covers, all three covers, are very unique. These are some of the best-looking covers I've ever seen for any wrestling game. Um, the trailer, I feel, was done very well. I remember back in the day when you used to have, you know, like the WWE Dead Reckonings, the Here Come the Pains, the SmackDown versus Raws. Those trailers were done very, very well. I feel like 2K over the last decade really hasn't had the best wrestling game trailers. This year, man, I really dug what they did with Cody, Bianca, Rhea. Uh, I didn't really much care for the generated, the AI generated Stone Cold Steve Austin and Hulk Hogan, especially Steve Austin. I feel like he had this big ass head on this AI generated body, and it just looked weird, man. He looked like a walking, talking Funko Pop. Yeah, but uh, hey, it is what it is. Overall, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I know a, a thing that a lot of people pointed out was the size of the ramp. In the stages uh the wrestlemania stage to be specific 
that's been an issue with a lot of wrestling games is, you know, the, the stages and the ramps more specifically have been scaled down. Uh, it seems like we're going to get a longer ramp, which is cool, man. I, I, I'm really enjoying that. Uh, the WrestleMania 39 stage look really good. I believe one of the arenas uh, that you can download in one of these packs is the WrestleMania 40 arena. And I'm curious about that because WrestleMania 40 is this year uh, in Philly. So, I, it's going to be kind of cool to see them patching in uh, a current version of a WrestleMania stage during the year of the game. So I think that's going to be cool. But overall, I really, really like the trailer so far. I really like the notes we've received. Of course, as every year, you know, WWE 2K, they get us hype. Uh, and, and they tell us about all these different modes and functions and features. Then when you play the game, after about a week or so, you're like, ah, you know what? Knew it was too good to be true. They lacked on this. They lacked on that. But, hey, you can always pick and choose. You can always have something to complain about. From what I've saw so far, from the things I've seen, from the things I've heard, from the things I've read, this seems like a huge step in the right direction. Uh, and even as far as, like, the downloaded uh, content, you know, as far as, you know, the packs and the superstars that we're going to get, I am not upset. I know usually these DLC packs are hit and miss, uh, but so far the characters and, and the content and the arenas and things like that that have been announced uh, that are going to be available for download. I'm I'm loving it. I have no complaints right now. Um, not really the biggest Billy Graham fan, but that ain't that ain't for me. You know, uh, there's there's plenty that is for me. And there's plenty of Billy Graham fans, so we ain't going to complain about that. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys and girls would be happy about that. Uh, like I said, you know, the covers look crazy. Uh, I love the covers. And I'm just really excited overall, man, to see how the gameplay and the presentation and the updates hold up. And hopefully these match types aren't glitchy. Uh, we will be able to, you know, compete for double title matches in universe mode, which I think is cool. Um, so I'm excited about that. Uh, the online play should be a little bit better. So I'm excited, man. But drop your thoughts down below. WWE 2K24. Which edition of the game are you getting? Which superstars have not been announced that you're hoping to make the cut for the game? And yeah, man, what mode and match types are you going to try out first? Comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, Generation Wrestling Podcast. I'm the franchise. And until next time, we'll see you when we see you.